about six times under one of my arms out cutting trees one time. And I was so hurting so bad. I mean, those things really hurt me. Any other bee sting doesn't hurt me much, but those things knocked me for a loop. And I had this girlfriend, and uh, that thing was aching me, and it had been hours since I got stung. She said, put the backer on it. And uh, I didn't believe it. But anyhow, we found some tobacco and uh, took a piece of masking tape, I think, and just moistened a little bit of tobacco and put it right on the sting spot and taped it on there. And it wasn't 15 minutes till that, I, I forgot all about it. And uh, I, ever since then, every time I get stung with a yellow jacket, that's the first thing I do is head for some, find some tobacco to put on it. But anyway, just thought I'd throw that out there. Appreciate it, AI4NX. Well, Mike, well, I appreciate that, and uh, yeah, I've uh, I've used tobacco on a bee sting before, but uh, uh, never done it quite like that. Normally, I find somebody, or, or if I know somebody that chews tobacco, I'll, I'll get a piece that they've been chewing on, you know, or uh, uh, it sounds kind of nasty, but. <laughs> Hey, if it works, it works. Uh, I guess I got that from my granddad. He, he, uh, uh, he used to chew. Uh, he, I don't know what he used to chew, but it, it came in a little old square, and he'd take his pocket knife out and cut him off a piece, and, and he'd sit there and chew on it. And uh, I got stung up there. Uh, what by yellow jackets by wasp? And uh, he put it on the wasp things, and he, he just said that the, the tobacco was good for bee stings. He didn't necessarily specify which kind, but uh, seemed to work, or, or that particular stuff, he worked on the wasp stings. But uh, that's good information to have. You know, we, we forget about these old-time remedies and cures that, uh, if we, we don't use them and, and pass them on down. Yeah, that's true. And... Uh... You know, everything in the, uh, I know there's a lot of synthetic stuff out there, but originally all the pharmaceuticals came from plants and uh, that sort of thing, minerals and, uh, you know, everything, it all comes from the earth. Everything comes from the earth. So if you keep that in mind, it doesn't sound quite as radical as... Uh,